kitchen. Hello, miss. I'm Father Arno Moriani. I am Dr. Maria Florescu. Have you come from the Vatican, Father? Ah, I see that news travels quickly. <laughs> Ozana is a chatterbox, you know. So, I've learned that you reserved a room at the inn, and that you've come with regard to the canonization of Martha Calogero. To be more exact, I'm here to conduct a preliminary inquiry. In fact, I'd like to ask you a few questions in that respect. But I hope I'm not bothering you, Doctor. Call me, Maria, please. And I'd be very happy to help you. I've read the research she published. I also know about her through what the villagers say, and from the traces she left in this house. She led an austere life and worked a great deal. Her only distraction was photography. All her equipment is still here. I'd wanted to set myself up since the end of my studies, but I didn't have the money to buy a practice. The Vesnicia Foundation offered me this job after the death of Dr. Caligaro. I accepted it right away. I'm put up, I earn a salary for tending to the poor, and I can develop a small private practice on the side. Don't hesitate to come back if you think I can help you, or I can stop by the inn if you prefer. You will always be welcome, but please, don't go to the trouble. I'll come by again. Adele, lie down. I'm sorry. That dog is unbearable. No, he's not. He's a good watchdog. You're kind. He's a good dog. His presence is reassuring. He keeps prowlers away, and any cats or foxes who might attack my birds. I thought I saw something move behind that window a while ago. Was I dreaming? The house seems abandoned. My lord, the war has caused so much damage. Hey! Hello. My name is Ianel. Hello, son. I am Father Arno. You're the one who's come to get Martha into heaven? Oh, <laughs> I'm not the one who decides that, you know. I'm just here to question people to find out who she was. She gave injections. When I was little, that scared me. But she always gave me candy afterwards. She was nice. A and she's even nicer since she's dead. Is that so? Explain that to me. She protects people. When you go to some bad spot in the middle of the night, you have to repeat three times, Saint Martha, protect me, and nothing will happen to you. The gravedigger told me that. And also, when you burn a candle on her grave, you can make a wish. Have you made one? I asked Martha to send me a friend to play with. I had one, but he died. And then another one, but he left. So now I'm bored. She's beautiful. You can see she's a lady from the city. 
She's the one who gives injections now. She gave one to me, but I'm not scared anymore. Hey, sir! How do you do? I'm Father Arno Moriani of the Sacred Congregation of Rites. Ah, you're the one come for our Martha. Welcome, Father. Uh, I'm Jordan Michu, gravedigger and sexton of the parish. Father Gregorio Nijescu, he left for the south on a cure. He was real tired, especially after the death of Martha. She helped him a lot with his good works. The bishop hasn't found a replacement yet, so once again we got no priest, <laughs> like during the war. He left a phone number? Ask for Costanza 135. Sure, I knew her. She was a darn good doctor, with all due respect. And she had guts. She saved a lot of folks during the war. And then, young Ariel, that everybody was sure had an evil eye cast on him and was sure to die. But that ain't all. Yes? She works miracles. Explain that to me. Weren't for her, I'd have the back all busted. Because, let me tell you, she heals even better since she died. That's why people go to her grave and light candles there. Uh, she's real pretty, but as a doctor, don't tell her father. But she ain't up to our Martha. She couldn't do anything for my backache. But luckily, I leaned on Martha's gravestone and said three prayers, and the next day, I was cured. I'll leave you. You seem to have a great deal of work. Well, with all due respect, Father, I gotta move the old ones to make room for the newcomers. Here's a wooden church, typical of the region. What luck that the bombing spared it. Number, please. Hold the line. You're connected. 
Greenleaf Rest Home. Good day. Could I speak to Father Gregory Unigescu, please? This is Father Arno Moriani. One moment, I'll see. This is Father Gregory Unigescu. Hello, this is Father Arno Moriani. I belong to the Sacred Congregation of Rites, and I'm investigating the case of the late Martha Caligaro. Ah, yes, I'm aware of that. Not very good, actually, since you ask. But what good does it do to talk about it? Prayer is my only comfort. She was a good Christian, courageous, charitable, and she attended Mass regularly. I appreciated her a great deal. Some of my parishioners think so. The diocese realized that and asked for the case to be opened. Myself, I don't know. Things like that are way beyond me, you know. Goodbye, Father Gregorio. I wish you a good rest. Goodbye, Father Arno. <sighs> well, uh, I think I've done enough for this first day at Vladiviste. It's time to go to bed. Wow, I'm dead tired. Got to go directly to bed.